Welcome back everyone to part number 8 of Psycho Enigma's Blaze Black Nuzlocke Run. And yes, it's been a while since I've played this and my apologies for not uploading sooner. Uh, I hope a lot of you saw the channel update and the uh, the vlog from when I went to Cardiff. Uh, that was pretty cool and you know, that tells you about what's going on. I just want to quickly run through, um, for those of you that haven't seen it, you know, you should. But um, if you didn't see it, I'm saying... Uh, basically, I'm going to play Blaze Black until I win slash die, then Blaze Black 2 till I win slash die, then uh, a blind Nuzlocke walkthrough of uh, Pokemon X and Y, which will be fun. Uh, and also, I want to quickly throw in that I do have a Heart Gold and Soul Silver co-op randomizer run Nuzlocke in the um, in the mix as well, so that'll be pretty fun. I completely forgot what kind of position we're in. Oh yeah, that's right. We're up to the second gym and we have Flappers and Miracle to train. Because we need to get everyone to like level 22 uh, before we do any heavy lifting. Because otherwise we're going to die horribly. Um, did we explore the city last time? I can't remember. Let's, let's do that. I don't think we did actually. Uh, and yes, for this episode, if you didn't notice, I felt like being a bit different. We have the sea gear on. How may you help me? I don't know. Uh, oh, you sell, like, bat limes. You suck. No one uses bat limes, and if you do, you suck. That's right. Psycho Enigma says you suck. And since I uploaded the previous episode, I've noticed that I've gained, like, six new subscribers. Oh, um, uh, it's going down here. Uh, I chose Snivy at the start. Yes. Oh, okay, I get a Miracle Seed. That's awesome. I think I already have one of those. Um, but yes, for the new subscribers, um, if you are out there, oh no, we don't have a miracle here. We'll give that to Miss Snakey. For the new subscribers that are here since I last uploaded, I hope you um, enjoy this run. I hope you've gone back and watched some of my other stuff. If you haven't, I would advise to because for my hundredth video, I've decided I'm going to throw together. I already came in here. What am I doing? Get out! Uh, I'm going to throw together like my favourite Nuzlocke moments of mine, which is what I'll do. Um, right. Let's see what else we have around here. Do you say anything? No, you write poems. That's interesting. And you know what? Screw this. We're going to go catch a new Pokemon because we have the outside of Pinwheel Forest to catch Pokemon on, which is cool. And we really need, like, a fighting type. I know you can get Sork and Throw around here, uh, but I might look to do Rustling Grass. And, yes, this, this girl I came straight up to her because she gives you Rock Smash, which is a... I want to say it's 40 base power, fighting type move, which will do well in this hack uh, against uh, Lenora, who is a normal type trainer. And we ran into the grass, unfortunately we didn't find anything, because I want to talk about them. So let's take on this, uh, this nurse first, and then I'll talk about the grass. Uh, so, Happiny, and we have Flappers. And of course we're going to miss Air Cutter. And then she's going to hit us with Air Cutter. Thankfully, Happiny's special attack is not brilliant. Their special defense, however, is pretty good. Uh, but she's not going to be able to hit us very well. And we need the XP on her flappers. And we're just taking hits for days here. We need the XP on flappers for the gym. And we also need some on Miracle. So we shall do that. Uh, will this happen? just go down? I know like the whole line of Happiny, Chansey, and Blissey are like, incredibly special defensively bulky. But, oh man, why did I not level up there? That's not cool. Uh, right. Let's try and confuse this, Aldino. A uh, double slap. Don't hit. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let, let's get out of there. What's your physical defense, Flappers? It's 22. What's Miracles? 19. So that's even worse. Okay. Um, yeah, let's not go into Miracle. Let's go into Fohawk, because I think... I'm pretty sure Lenora has a Buffalant, from what I've seen, and it has Sap Zipper. So any grass type moves will just help it. I can't remember how and why are you getting a crit and hitting me four times, Ordino. That ain't cool. And of course you're going to go for the Attract. Because, you know, you're cool like that. And the Quick Attack is still going to damage you. Uh, let's get... No, Fohawk is still in there. He's doing pretty well for himself. Let's just Wing Attack it. And we hit again. So we're taking the Ordino down and getting a ridiculous amount of XP for it. Like 900 XP each. Fohawk to 21. Flappers to 18. 19. Beast-like level growing. 
Okay, so we're going to get our Pokemon healed up, and I'm pretty sure there's an item around here. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's... Yes, I saw an item, and it's an Ether. Now, I want to talk about the grass here. Uh, I know you can get Sork and Throw, and I've just completely forgotten what I'm searching for. So, um, yeah, I'm, I need to find out what kind of Pokemon are around here, and I'm going to uh, advise you guys of what I want to look for. So, uh, be back in a moment. So I just checked out the uh, the documentation, and it turns out that not only can you get Sork and Throw for fighting types, but you can also get like all the fire starters around here in the rustling grass, like a 30% chance to get one of the five. So I would really like one of those. Um, so I'm going to try the rustling grass out, and there are of course trainers here. Um, so we are just going to try and do it here. Come on, give me some rustling grass. Oh, there it is. What's that Pokemon? What is it? What are we going to get? It's a Cyndaquil! And it's it's not a like a fighting type. Now, it doesn't evolve into a fighting type. But Cyndaquil is like my favorite Pokemon ever! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Come on, Flappers, don't kill it. Flappers, Flappers, good Flappers. For those of you that um, watched Fire Red Omega, I got a Cyndaquil there. And uh, he, he got killed and I was like distraught. And oh god, do we have Pokemon? Oh, thank god we do. And we're gonna catch this Cyndaquil. Because I love Cyndaquil, and it's like, the fact I could have got, like, a Torchic, a uh, Chimchar, or a Tepig, and had a fighting type, and like, had a type advantage. Screw that, we have a Cyndaquil, man. Cinder freaking Quill, like, the cutest and most amazing Pokemon ever. Look at him. Look at that Cyndaquil. Oh my god, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I haven't even thought of a name, I'm that happy. Oh, wow. I love Cyndaquil. Uh, we'll call it Volcano, because I know that... Uh, that um, Typhlosion, the final evolution, learns Eruption. So we'll call it Volcano. I originally called it Salvador in Fire Red Omega, um, but, you know, I'm trying to name things, like, not so name-ish. Uh, what do you, what are you hold? oh, you're holding a charcoal, oh my god, you're so amazing, I love you, um, and it has ember on it, so I need to grind volcano in this, um, for a while, uh, let's give you a potion, and I think we'll get flame wheel soon, and we've got an attack raising nature, which I just checked out, which is quite, quite nice, let's just use a super potion, I feel like that was a waste, but, uh, what kind of TMs do we have as well? Let's let's check this. F Incinerate's 50 base power on this game, so I could give that to uh, to Volcano as well. Just as like another fire type move. Why not? Let's get rid of Leah. No one likes Leah. Yes, so we will get rid of that. Um, can anyone learn Rock Smash? That'd be really awesome if you could, and no one can. Great, so no type advantages for us. Standard, really, kind of deal. But we are going to be training Volcano, Flappers, and Miracle today with backup from Miss Snakey and Fohawk, naturally. Um, so yeah, let's on with... The, okay, we get wild Pokemon. Spinarak! Something Volcano can kill! Volcano, use it Incinerate! And wow, you didn't even one-shot Spinarak. Volcano will become something amazing. I'm thrilled to have a Cyndaquil on my team again. And like... I. I get the chance to uh, to show off his skills. I I'm playing Blaze Black 2 on um, on here as well, and I had a Cyndaquil in that, and it evolved into Magical. If that shouldn't be doing too much, uh, it evolved into a ah, what's it called? Quilava, that one, and uh, it learned Extra Sensory. And I'm like, what are you doing, Quilava? What have you been smoking to learn Extra Sensory? But uh, Volcano will now level up, or evolve rather, should I say, uh, a level 14. So we're going to switch into Miracle to take on this Pampor. And I had a thought just before I recorded, because I was looking over my team and just thinking, you know, about the gym battle. Oh, acrobatics! We outspeed, though, that's okay. <clears throat> and uh, Miracle knows Metronome, and, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with Metronome. But uh, I had a thought. Metronome picks any move in the game, right? Um, yeah, we could get Explosion or Self-Destruct, and then Miracle would die. And that move focuses on your base attack, or, like, your attack stat, which Miracle isn't good in. 
So I think I'm going to be a lot more wary about how I'm going to be using Metronome these days. Um, speaking of Miracle, he's going to grow to level 19. Yeah. So that's all fun and games. And I believe, yes, Volcano is going to evolve. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy that I got Cyndaquil. I mean, any of the fire starters bar Charmander. Purely because, don't get me wrong, I love Charmander. And a Charizard would be awesome. I wanted something with a, fire, um, a fighting type. We got Quilava though, and I'm just so, so happy, because, like, Cyndaquil is probably my favourite Pokemon ever. Well, Typhlosion is. Oh, I love you. You're so beautiful in every single way. I just realised that I said like, I was going to get rid of Smokescreen or Leo for that move. Anyway, uh, let's move Quick Attack up. So, a Special Attack's 29. Our stats aren't that brilliant at the moment on Volcano, but uh, we, we will get better with him. So yes, uh, we have more youngsters to take on, and I haven't healed up because I'm confident that I oh god rock and roller. I'm not confident at all with this battle. Uh, let's switch out Miss Snakey into the fray with her grass type capabilities. Mud slab here, yeah, like one damage, bro. That ain't doing nothing on me. Cut and rock blast. It's doing nothing, man. Just just get out of here. Leaf tornado. Uh, we're taking down the rock and roller. Rock and roller is a cool Pokemon, like. Gigalith is pretty strong. A uh, bit of switch training with uh, with Volcano here. And, uh, yeah, I was saying something. Gigalith's a cool Pokemon, really high base attack. I had one with Adamant Nature. And, oh god, he actually got the attack rise. Right, we're going to Leech Seed this thing. Because Aaron has amazing... Whoa! Okay, that's not cool. Uh, where are my... Potions, we have super potions. Let's just use regular potions for now. Not Pokeballs. Potions, here we go. Yes, we'll be using those. Iron Defense, yeah, you can raise your physical defense all you want, but you're seeded, and I'm going to use Leaf Tornado on you. Sure, it's neutral damage, but focuses on your special defense, which really isn't that high. And a Geodude will switch out into Volcano again. Just to get that EXP nom 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 EXP nom. So I think uh, Magna, oh, that's that's not going to do anything. So we we need to be like every, all of my Pokemon that need to be level 22, like for the gym battle at least. Uh, it's Leaf Tornado, and we missed. Thank you, Miss Sneaky. That's really helpful. And I'm really glad that we got a Fire type in the Shaking Grass because like Berg is the next gym leader. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, TM43 Flame Charge. That's amazing. Oh, we can put that on Cyndaquil and, like, his attack raising nature and it can boost speed. Please tell me you can learn it. Please, please. Yes, you can, Volcano. You are amazing. Um, let's get rid of Ember. Because, like, Ember's, like, because Incinerate's got more damage, it's just totally not worth it anymore. You know, you would have Ember for a little while, but not that long. And uh, we're going to get healed up, which is nice. And I think my amulet is lagging. That's never good. It's lagging quite a lot, actually. I'm just going to, like, I'm going to try and fix this because I don't like lag. Bear with me. Okay, so I don't know if that's fixed it, but I just basically, like, closed my Skype. That, you know, my laptop's not fantastic. So, yeah. We'll do that. Uh, Spinarak. Get out of here, Spinarak. You're no match for Volcano with my fling charging abilities. And albeit that um, Typhlosion's special attack is higher than its attack. And you want to learn extra century in this hack as well. Oh, you're amazing. I love you. Oh, my God. So many good moves. Extra century. 80 base power. Psychic time move with the chance to flinch. They're sending out Charmander. Let's go into with Miracle. And I'm really, really not confident about Miracle's survival in the next gym. Just because of his defense is so low. You know, it's, it's not looking good. And a Do Duo. And there's still lag, man. What is going on here? This ain't right. Uh, let's flame charge the hell out of this thing. Yeah, Fury Attack, you're doing nothing to me. Get out of here. And, uh, okay, that, that didn't quite do as much as I was expecting, but it's two levels higher. 
So I think that this is going to be the episode leading up to the, uh, the gym battle. So the next episode will be gym trainers and grinding. Uh, not gym trainers and grinding, that will be gym trainers and the gym leader. And off screen I will grind. What is going down with this lag? I don't know if it's just where I am in the game. But you know, I don't appreciate lag. Lag is not good. Lag is not your friend. There's an item over here as well. Yeah, it's just super potion. Right, that's awesome. And we have more youngsters over here. Yes, uh, you... Zachary. Zachary's a cool name. Burmy, more super effective stuff for Volcano to be hitting. That's awesome. You And, like, Volcano, what the hell, man? You can't one hit KO anything. And I think that uh, Incinerate's going to be a better move to have on him because it burns and destroys hold items. Or, like, berries and stuff. So that'll be quite good. Get out of here, Ladybug. And Torchic will stay in because I'm confident that we can win. Let's, let's hit it with an extra sensory. Okay, that, that did quite a bit. Let's hit it with... Uh, oh, God, you have speed boost. You're that kind of Torchic. Saying that I would love a Blaziken with speed boost. Like, oh, man, that'd be so awesome. But yes, you've gone down. And Volcano's level 18, so he's, like, now caught up with the rest of the team already. Uh, I think we got a couple of couple of uh, fighting type people up here, so that's like Miracle and Flappers training all sorted. What is with this lag, man? I think it's just this area. I hope it is. And that's a timber, so that's uh, that's something for Miracle to feast upon. And Bide, oh god, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you. Bide is like the ultimate killer in Nuzlocke runs, man. If you're not ready and not prepared for a Pokemon with Bide, you can very much get just get absolutely ripped apart. Four Pokemon, hopefully all fighting types. So uh, we'll get Miracle to level 20 here, I'm hoping. Yes, we do. That's excellent news. Wants to learn Shockwave. Um, let me think about this. Yes. God, yes. I don't quite know why I got rid of Teleport instead of um, Disable. And Disable could come in handy, maybe, if it hits. Um, so yeah, we <laughs> we now have coverage moves. Coverage moves are always nice. A throw. Throw is like the bulky version of the Gen 5 fire types, of the, uh, fighting types they bought in. Like the throw and sork. I've never really used Conkelda. Uh, I've considered using throw and sork. And uh, I've never got round to it. So I suppose I probably will one day. And Flapper's now level 20. Are you going to have a sork as well? You have me first? Okay, that's pretty cool. So, I think, you know, with a bit of speed, we can do a bit of me first fun. And a Tyrogue, uh, feed you to Volcano. Because Tyrogues aren't that strong, really. Their base stats are pretty low. Uh, let's just hit this thing with a flame charge. And we have extra sensory. Why the hell did I not use that? Yeah, Foresight's going to do nothing. And flame charge. Get that speed. Yeah, it's just... I love the fact Flame Charge. Flame Charge works. I've still got Flame Charge on my level 81 Embor on Black 2 on my DS. And I'm telling you, just like, because of the speed Embor is, you get a Flame Charge up early in the battle. And you get, get two of those. Get his speed up to double. And then the rest of his moves, like Flare Blitz, Hammer Arm, and Earthquake. And you just, you're just okoing everything in sight. It's amazing. Uh, so they're all level 20. This fighting type dude will go down to Volcano with his extra sensory powers. Except we have a grass battle, and it's a Tyrogue. Was that shaking grass? I don't know, it sounded like shaking grass. But it's interesting to know you can get Tyrogues around here. If, um, you know, you, you want one. Anyway, and dude, you were looking straight at me. Get back over here. Yep. Just bat on me. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to get a drink of water. And this episode's been like... Well, I suppose I've got to edit pauses and whatnot out of it. Like from when I was checking documentation. But uh, it's up to 20 minutes at the mode. And I think my phone's vibrated. I'm not 100% sure. Meditite. You can get out of here. Flame charge it up. And you're going to detect. That's awesome. Meditite. You do that. Flame charge. Do absolutely nothing to it. That's fine. Wait. Took aim. That means the next move will not, will not miss, right? Unless you have focus punch. Ah, it doesn't matter. Or Dynamic Punch, that's the one I'm thinking of, sorry. 
Either way, the incinerate kills it. And Riolu... Riolu is a cool Pokemon. I love the fact you get those early in Black 2. And White 2. So yeah, but it's dead. And you have the Sork. I knew one of you two would have a Sork. One has a Sork, one has a Throw. Extra Sensory. It's focus Energy, man. Get out of here. Yeah, you did. And Volcano's caught up nicely to the rest of the team. And you want to learn Flame Wheel. Oh, more. More. Oh, it was 75 base power. What? That's insane. Um... We have Quick Attack, which is kind of good. But Flame Charge gets our speed up anyway. Uh, nah. Nah, I'm, I'm cool. I'll, uh, I'll keep the moves I have. I know it has a chance of leaving a burn, but I, I don't mind. Uh, man, this I'm going to try and sort this lag for the next episode. My apologies, guys. And we have a Netball here. That's all well and good. Uh, so right, we are going to run up here. I don't know why I'm running, because I have a bike. I've just remembered that, but uh, we're going to make it back to Nakarine City. And I think I might just do a small amount of off-screen grinding just to get everyone up a few more levels. Just so we are better prepared for the gym, because we do only have five Pokemon. So yes, uh, that is all nice. So we have healed up. We also need to stock up on potions and whatnot. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching. It's been a great fun return to making videos. You know, I've, I've missed doing this. So I'm going to save it here with our team of five ready for the uh, the battle against Lenora next episode. A bit of off-screen grinding, get everyone to like level 22 and level 23. Um, remember to like the video and comment if you've enjoyed it and leave feedback for what I can improve on. Tell, you've, tell me you've missed me. I love it when you guys tell me you miss me. Um, even though it's like never happened, ever. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time for the gym battle.